right, which of you have mushy brown avocados sitting on their counter surface right now? A little bit like these. If so, you are in for a treat, my friends. Today, we are going to be making three delicious recipes plus a little bonus that call for these overripe avocados that you do not know what to do with. Team Metabolic, it's Bella here, your lead nutritionist and recipe developer here at Metabolic Living. I absolutely love avocados, as does everyone nowadays, but I feel like I go to the store, I buy them that perfectly little bit underripe, waiting for a few days to eat them, and then before I know it, I pop off to read a book, go to the loo, do something, I come back, they're brown, they're disgusting, they're mushy, and I don't know what to do with them. Well, happy times, because today I am sharing with you guys three different little hacks plus an awesome bonus if you stick around at the end that are gonna be able to use them up and make delicious things out of them. Alrighty, let's start off with recipe number one. So we are a big fan of smoothies and shakes here at Metabolic Living, so one of my favorite things to do with that overripe avocado is to pop some mashed avocado up in these little um, ice cube trays, pop them in the freezer, and then any time you fancy a smoothie or a shake, you can just quite simply bring them out and use the little avocado ice cubes to make a delightful smoothie that's full of healthy fat and potassium and all that good stuff. So what you're gonna need to do is grab a bowl and grab a nice mushy avocado like this. It's pretty disgusting to be honest. Give it a good slice. Okay, as you can see, it's just like really kind of smush which is perfect for these purposes. So scrape out your avo, and obviously if you have several overripe ones, feel free to just repeat this, repeat this, repeat this. Um, great way to make sure you use it all up. Grab a fork and then mush it up. Beautiful. Don't be afraid if it's a little brown. Okay, fabulous. And then grab an ice cube tray. Okay, then pop them in into the fabulous. Smush it in nicely, and there you have it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this up. Well, it depends how many avocados you have, I guess. But then what you're gonna do is pop this into the freezer and just like regular ice cubes, wait until they're nice and hard. And when you want to use them in a smoothie or shake or some sort of thing, maybe some um, avocado ice cream, that's another really good one. But yeah, freeze them and then use them whenever. So we're actually gonna be running through one of my fave little smoothie recipes. Here are some frozen ice cubes that I made this morning, really didn't take very long. So what I'm gonna do is add about four cubes to the blender. I'm gonna add one cup of almond milk. This is a um, unsweetened almond milk, literally just almonds and water. Popping that in. I'm gonna do one scoop of my favorite metabolic super protein. Really great source um, of whey protein here from grass-fed cows. Minimally processed, also contains joint support, a digestive blend, a really great one. So popping that in also just tastes delicious. Add in about half a cup of your favorite berries. I actually personally love blueberries. Make sure if you are using berries, try and buy them organic as most of them are on the Dirty Dozen list. And then one tablespoon of cacao powder. Um, just anything unsweetened is great. Pop that in there for a little bit of extra chalky flavor. I've made such a mess in my kitchen already, but that's the kind of person I am. Pop on the lid and then quite simply zhuzh it up. Fabulous. It's nice and blended. Oh, this is really yummy and thick. And it's super creamy from the avo, which is fabulous. Grab a glass, pour it in. I like my smoothies nice and thick, but if you like them watery, that's not a problem. And cheers, there you have it. Really nice and easy, creamy avocado smoothie, thanks to these handy dandy little ice cube. Cheers. So good. No, it tastes like chocolate ice cream. And there you have it, a really easy and creamy avocado smoothie packed with all the fabulous nutrients. Great source of healthy fats, also got your protein in there. And all thanks to this very, very easy concept. Simply freeze those overripe avocados, pop them into little ice cube trays, and you can have delicious avocado ready for any smoothie, shake, ice cream, whatever you fancy at any time. 
All righty, now moving on to recipe number two. This is my infamous green goddess dressing. It's absolutely delicious on top of salads. It's delicious as a dip for those veggies. Um, you can even use it as a dairy-free Alfredo sauce. So let's dive in. What you're gonna need is one avocado. So I've just pre-mushed mine here and then you're gonna be popping all of these things straight into your Vitamix, your blender. So pop in the entire avo. The next ingredient you are gonna need is a cup of your herbs of choice. So I'm gonna be using parsley and cilantro. Another little hack, actually, while we're on uh, the topic of things that are overripe, whenever you have herbs that are looking a little limp like this, simply pop them in a glass jar, fill it up with water, and keep them in the fridge to give them new life. Just cut off about a cup, absolutely love parsley, great source of vitamin C, and then cilantro, one of my favorite detoxification agents, and absolutely tastes delicious to me. Putting all the fresh herbs in there, honestly, the more the merrier. Shove them all in. Beautiful. So herbs have gone in. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is add one jalapeno, just de-seed it and remove the ribs, unless you love the spice. Feel free to keep them. And then over, oh, we've got jalapeno flying everywhere, love it. And then I'm also gonna be putting in two cloves of garlic. Garlic is one of my favorite superfoods ever, so feel free to add more if you love uh, the taste of garlic a little bit. Pop that in. Then what we're gonna do is add the juice of one lime. As always, if you kind of wanna get a little zesty, feel free to add another one. Honestly, I feel like you can't really go wrong with adding lime in here. I'm probably gonna do two. So pour in your fresh lime juice. This already smells so, so good and fresh. Pop it in there, squeeze it in. Then you're also gonna add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Now you can use avocado oil as well. Beautiful source of healthy fats, in it goes. And then you're gonna add half a cup of pistachio nuts, pouring them in. And then you're gonna add between half a cup to three quarters of a cup of water. Now this does kind of depend on what you're gonna wanna use this sauce for. I would say if you're using it for a salad dressing, you definitely wanna lean towards the three quarters of a cup. If you're using it as more of a dip, then half a cup is probably plenty. So putting that in, and then just to finish off, we're gonna do a little touch of salt and pepper. So I like to use Himalayan sea salt to get those good minerals in there. And then finally, a little thing of pepper. So popping that in, yum, yum, yum. Then obviously very simple, all you do is pop the lid on and zhuzh it up as we say. See you guys in a sec. <laughs> yummy, yummy. And there you have it. To me, this is the perfect consistency. But then all you've got to do is store it. So I like to pop mine in mason jars. You can also reuse like soups or stock. So mine's like a little bit thick because again, I love to use it to dunk veggies in there. I also love to use this as an Alfredo sauce, as I said. But if I want to make it into a salad dressing, I can either just drizzle some on the top and really just massage my greens into there. Or um, I can add a little bit of water. It's that easy. I'm just going to taste it. Unbelievable. That's so good. So good, you guys are gonna love it. As I said, just keep it in the fridge in a mason jar or pasta sauce jar that you've washed out, anything really. Cure it with a lid, pop it in the fridge whenever you're ready. It's absolutely delicious. It's packed full of those micronutrients that are really great for your health. And of course, it's a fabulous way to use up those leftover avocados. All right, time for recipe number three. I don't know about you, but I am now in the mood for dessert, which is pretty much always actually, if I'm honest. So we are gonna be making chocolate avocado pudding. Absolutely delicious. It's actually ketogenic and low carb. So for those of you on a keto or paleo diet, you can also enjoy this. What you're gonna need is one avocado, as always, just mush it up nicely into a bowl. Now, just a little note, you can pop this into a Vitamix or a food mixer to make it go easy, but I do wanna show you that you can just do it in a bowl and just gobble it up straight from the bowl for minimal dish time and just minimal equipment needed. So you've got your one avocado in there. You're now gonna add two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. It's actually a great antioxidant. What you're then gonna do is mix those things together to start. It's gonna look a little bit dry, but we're gonna get there, promise. Then what you're gonna add is two tablespoons of unsweetened milk of your choice. I am using unsweetened almond milk here, but feel free to use whatever works best for you and your family. See, it's already starting to come together as a pudding. Delish, but a really nice stir to make sure the lumps are out. Beautiful. Then what you're gonna add is two tablespoons of maple syrup. Now, as I mentioned, this can be made ketogenic. So I am gonna be using today the Birch Benders Magic Syrup. It's a low carb maple syrup. It tastes just like normal maple syrup. So use one or two tablespoons 
whatever you fancy. If you can't find this, no worries, you can use regular maple syrup as well. Just be aware that it will be higher in carbohydrates. You give that a really nice stir together. This actually smells so good already. I'm such a chocolate person, so this brings me life. Okay, stir that in. Now what we're gonna do is add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir that in, and then the final ingredient, two tablespoons of melted chocolate. So I am using Lily's. Lily's is a stevia sweetened chocolate brand. Look at that, that is blooming delicious. Yum. Um, feel free to use any dark chocolate here. Whatever you fancy. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, I'm actually gonna sub out the fork. Yum. No shame in trying the batter. Okay, then what you're gonna do is stir all of this together. See, you don't even need a bitter mix. Who am I kidding? Okay, stir it up and as you see, you've already started to create what is like a smooth and creamy pudding. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks so good and smells divine. I wish I could take you into my kitchen right now and let you smell this goodness. Honestly, there you have it, it's that easy. Now what you can do, if you prefer it a little bit firmer, you can pop it in the fridge. But I think to me, that is literally perfect. It's kind of like a mousse. Oh my gosh, so good. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a chocolate ganache, like what you put on top of a cake. It's literally that easy. There you have it, guys. Overripe avo, mm. you wouldn't even know. This is actually a really great way if you have fussy kids or even a fussy husband like myself and you want them to eat avocados or eat more green things, this is a fabulous way to sneak it in there. I mean, seriously, you wouldn't even know. It tastes just like frosting mm. or ganache. Enjoy, guys. It's that simple. Yum. All right, I promise you guys a bonus recipe and here it is. This one, while it is edible, is actually not going to be eaten. We are gonna be making an avocado face mask. I actually use this once a week for just smooth skin. It helps prevent acne. Um, it really just keeps the skin nice and hydrated and it's a really fun thing to do, especially with your girlfriends or something like that. So what you're gonna do is take a quarter of an overripe avocado, mash it up in a bowl, and then you're gonna add one teaspoon of organic yogurt. So just make sure, of course, that there's no like sweeteners or weird things in there. So just pop it on. And then you're also gonna do a teaspoon of raw local honey. Now, if you wanna take this one step further, you can get some Manuka honey. Really, really great antimicrobial, great for skin. So fun to make little face masks. I think sometimes we limit what we can do with foods in the kitchen, but actually there's absolutely no reason why we can't use these products on our skin as well. Skin is your largest organ, so what you put on it really does matter. So I like to make a lot of my skincare products at home. There's your little face mask. Obviously what you do is pop it all over your face. You're gonna leave it on for about 20 minutes. Oh, it actually feels really nice and cooling. And then just rub it off with some warm water and a clean organic washcloth and you will experience fabulous skin <laughs> benefits. And of course, it's just a fabulous way to use up those overripe avos. And of course it's edible and actually really quite delicious. Mmm, so good, delicious. And there you have it guys, three and a half absolutely great bonus recipes, ways to use up those overripe avocados. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and post below in the comments which of these ways is your favorite way to use these overripe avocados. For more recipe videos, healthy living tips, culinary tips, workouts, and more, please make sure you subscribe to the Metabolic Living YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you next time.